Lesson 1i, Elemental Families of the Periodic Table. Mendeleev organized the table of elements by their atomic number and their similar properties in columns. Due to the very similar chemical properties of the elements in the vertical columns, he called these columns the families. In doing so, he noticed that the elements in each family not only shared similar traits, but they also had the same number of valence shell electrons. In the first column, they each have one valence shell electron. In the second column, they have two. In the third column, three. In the fourth column, four. In the fifth column, five. In the sixth column, six. In the seventh column, they are one from being full, seven. In the last column, they were completely filled. Helium, two. The rest, eight. Here are some of the chemical families that we'll focus on in Science 10 Chemistry. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is described as a family of one. It has unique properties only found with hydrogen. One unique property is that it can form a negative or positive ion. It can have a plus or minus charge. The alkaline metals are the metals in the first column just below hydrogen. All of these metals have a single valence shell electron. They are all extremely reactive, often exploding when mixed with water. The halogens are the elements in the second last column underneath the hydrogen on the other side of the table. All of these elements are missing a single valence shell electron from being completely filled. These non-metal gases are also extremely reactive. The final column are the noble gases. They have completely filled valence shells and are completely unreactive with other chemicals. Some other families can be seen in this labeled periodic table. The alkaline metals in orange, the alkaline earth metals in light blue, the transition metals in darker blue, the other metals in purple, the metalloids on the staircase, the non-metals in green, the halogens in yellow, the noble gases in peach, and the rare earth metals called the lanthanides and the actinides on the bottom.